Hi everyone, Carolyn Braden here. Today I want to talk to you about some beach and poolside makeup as well as products that you should probably throw in your beach bag or pool bag the next time you go. I moved to Sanibel Island last year and one thing that changed a little bit when I moved was how I did my makeup. When you live in a very warm environment or you visit a very warm environment, the last thing you want to do is pile on the makeup. If you pile on the makeup, that's your choice, but if you're going to do that and then wear it to the pool or the beach, chances are it's probably going to melt off your face. So today I'm going to show you how I do my makeup, a little bit of an easier laid back makeup style. It's more sheer and a little more casual. And I'm gonna also show you some really cool products that I like to use that don't melt off my face or my skin. The first thing you should do when you're going to the pool or beach is wash your face before you go and make sure you don't put on very heavy moisturizers. You also don't want to use some chemical based exfoliators. If you're using chemical based exfoliators or really any kind of exfoliators before you're going to a sunny type of vacation, you definitely need to cover your face. I would wear some sunscreen on your face and I would wear a hat. Since I use a chemical exfoliator about once a week, I am going to be applying Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen in SPF 40. I've already washed and moisturized my skin and now I'm going to apply a little bit of the super goop all over my face. I like this sunscreen because number one, it's cruelty free and number two, it's super, super sheer. It doesn't leave any kind of a really strong smell on my face and it doesn't leave a white tint to my skin. Make sure you get it up in your hairline, go down your neck and something a lot of people overlook when applying sunscreen are their eyelids and the eyebrow area. Do the tops of your ears as well. That's a great sunscreen to use every day. I use it as a makeup primer because it seems to do really, really well with all my makeup. If you need something a little bit stronger, higher SPF, I love Sunbum. Sunbum is cruelty free and it smells amazing. Ooh, it smells smells just like the beach. They have a product that is just for your face, which I have, it's downstairs, and that's a good product to use. My husband really likes it well. It keeps your makeup on, it doesn't run off, and it doesn't run into your eyes, which is one of my husband's biggest pet peeves. I'll put links for all these products in the video description below. Sunbum also makes a really awesome three-in-one leave-in. It's a UV protection leave-in hair treatment. I always spray this on my hair before we go to the beach if I'm not planning on wearing a hat. It smells like coconuts. Let's spray some of that in. You can do it on wet hair, but you can also do it on dry hair as well. I also like to use the Sun Bum Pomegranate SPF for your lips. This is also a very neglected area of our bodies when we go to the beach. My only complaint about this lip balm is that it just it tastes a little sunscreeny, so you don't need a whole lot. Just a little bit goes a long way. We'll let that soak into our lips a little bit. I can taste it. I'm gonna take my finger, go like that, and get out some of it from inside my mouth. It's a really great product, and I love using it whenever I go to the pool or beach, but it doesn't taste the best but it does protect my lips. Now I have a little bit of redness on my skin and I'm not gonna put foundation all over my face because I know it will just melt off. To cover up the redness, I'm going to use the Bye Bye Redness by It Cosmetics. It's a redness concealing cream. I use this a lot of times as a concealer. You can check out this video. I'm gonna put a link right up here and that will show you how I get rid of my redness with foundation and with this product, but when you're going outside and spending in time in the sun, you don't need to do a full face of foundation. I'm going to use this concealer brush and just dip it in and just apply it wherever I have some redness. They make this in a lot of skin tones, so you can check it out. Sephora has it, Ulta has it, and I know the IT Cosmetics website has it as well. A little bit goes a long way, so you don't need to apply it super heavily to really get it all the way into your skin. I like to use a beauty blender. If you have some under eye circles that you wanna cover up, I like to use the Jones Road, the face pencil. I use shade 10 and I only apply it just in my circle area. It's a very, very creamy formula. 
So I'd be careful at how much you put on because if you put it too much like under your eye area, your mascara, if you put that on, may actually rub off onto your skin, even a waterproof formula because this is so creamy. I'm going back to the IT Cosmetics Redness. I'm using a smaller concealer brush to cover some of the smaller pimples that I have on my face right now. If you want to see my full skincare guide on how I treat my breakouts and my combination skin, I'll put a link right here and you can go check out that video. I use products like Zo Skin Health, The Ordinary, and Derma E. Those are some of my favorites. Redness is all covered. Now we're going to move on to the brows. For a brow that lasts all day, seriously all day and through swimming, I like to use the Urban Decay Inked Brow. I've shared my love of this product numerous times. I'll put another link to the video right here on how I create my brows. It's a very simple product to use. It's a long term gel based brow product and you just take it. I liked mine in Ginger Snap because it matches my hair. Just take it and run it through your eyebrows to create a nice, long lasting, and pretty much waterproof brow. I've read reviews for this product and the only complaint that people seem to have is that it's hard to remove. So if you use a makeup remover, I use the IT Cosmetics. It's a balm makeup remover. I put that on these brows and use a makeup eraser a cloth that's geared towards removing your makeup and I just put that balm on and then use the makeup eraser and it comes right off every night. I've tried sleeping in this product to see if it lasted through the night and it didn't quite work well overnight. I don't know why because I've swam in it and it lasted when I swam but it didn't last through my sleep. Maybe I'm just a heavy tosser and turner. I don't know. <laughs> For a cheek tint that lasts all day, I like to use the Pixie by Petra. You just put a little bit. You can either do it on your fingertips, get some out of here, or on a damp beauty blender. Kind of dab it on there because we're going to try to get a natural look with this and just apply it to your cheeks. At first it looks kind of crazy, but then the more you blend and dab, it soaks into your skin, leaving a nice natural flush that lasts all day. Cheek one done. You can also use this on your lips. It doesn't quite last as long on your lips, but it does give you a nice sheer color. Now we're off to the eyes. I like to use the Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later. I've been using this primer for years and years and years. I get it on Amazon. I just put a little bit on my finger and then gently sweep it onto my eyes. Sometimes I don't wear any eyeshadow at all because this kind of gives you a nice, very sheer pink tone to your eyelids, but it's a great primer. My eyeshadow never creases when I use this and it's more on the inexpensive side of eye primers. Now we're going to apply a mascara because we want our eyes to pop, but we also want to make it look like we're not crying when we decide to go swim. I like to use for a drugstore brand, the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Water proof mascara and for a higher end mascara I like to use the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes. I always curl my eyelashes. This is a Tweezerman eyelash curler that I picked up at a TJ Maxx store which is a great place to find some bargain beauty buys. To make my eyelashes look a little bit longer I like to use the Urban Decay Subversion Eyelash Primer. It's just a white primer that kind of thickens your lashes and makes them appear a little bit longer. I only apply this to the top lashes. Before it dries, I then put on my mascara. You can allow it to dry, but I've always found that I've had better results when it's still been damp when I put my mascara on top of it. There's with the mascara, without the mascara, but with primer. A little bit about me. I moved to Sanibel in August of 2020. Sanibel Island is in Florida. It stays very, very warm here. And I visited it for the first time in 2008 
fell in love with it. It was for my 30th birthday and I didn't want to leave. My husband and I visited quite a bit between 2008 and 2014. We knew that that was a place, that it was a place that we really wanted to move and be there full time because every time we left, I always wanted to go back. And we purchased a house in 2008. And I think the first time we came to Sanibel was 2009 because we purchased the house in 2008. And yeah, and so we purchased the house in 2008, visited Sanibel in 2009, and really didn't want to go back home. I'm gonna do my lower lashes as well. And so we spent between 2008 and 2020 renovating that house on our own. We had already renovated a couple of houses beforehand. This house, the house that we bought in 2008 was an 1800s house that needed tons and tons of work. If you wanna see any pictures of that renovation, you can go to my Instagram, Carolyn's Blooming Creations, or my website, carolynsbloomingcreations.com. We did the whole thing ourselves and we bought it in a foreclosure and it, oh, it was a mess. But we spent 12 years renovating it and making it look great and we put it for sale. We tried to sell it twice and it didn't sell and at the same time my husband was trying to get a new job and it was interesting because he had applied for a job and it went really, really well, the interview did. And at the same time, we were looking at houses on Sanibel and dreaming of moving there. And we both said, okay, well, if he gets this job because it was a remote position where he could do from anywhere, we said, okay, if you get this job, then let's seriously look into moving to Sanibel. And the next day he got the job. So we contacted some realtors and set a date for when we wanted to move because we were still doing some renovations on the house. And we put the house for sale in July of 2020 and it sold the first day it was listed. And then a month later we went to Sanibel and looked at houses and found the house, the second one we went and looked at, put in an offer and it was accepted. We moved into the house in October and we love it. So it shows you that if you really, 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 really want to do something, hard work, persistence, and being patient really pays off. Now I'm gonna set some of this makeup and conceal some of my pores. This will also help with the sweat throughout the day with some It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Setting Powder. This is in the color Translucent. You can set your brows with it as well. Now for my favorite bronzer, I like to use Bare Minerals Warmth. I have used this for years and years and years. You just tap a little bit into the cap. I like to use an angled brush and swirl it in there and just brush it on anywhere where you would tan. Ooh, if a lot comes out, be careful. I just tapped a little bit too much in there. I just kind of tap it in, back into here, kind of blend it into that brush because a little goes a long way. This will kind of give you that tan look without needing to tan your skin. Put a little bit on my nose and put some down my neck too. The last thing I like to do is add just a little bit of highlighter just to kind of give your skin that clean look. I like to use the highlighter by Siete. It is Glow 2 in Moon Dust. I actually broke mine. This is one of my favorite products. I've used this for years and years and years. It is a cruelty-free brand, but then I use a very small brush, dip it into the highlighter, and just apply it wherever light would hit your skin, which is the tops of your cheekbones, up here on your forehead just a bit. I take my finger, put a little on my finger, put it on my brow bones, and just a sheer sweep over my eyelids. Also do the tip of my nose, a little bit around the bridge of my nose, and the top of my lip, and the corners of my eyes. You can also rub a little bit through your brows to make them look a little fancier. Kind of brush away the excess. I love highlighter. This can tend to reflect the sun. It might actually cause you to burn if you're not careful. So when I put this much highlighter on, I like to wear a beach hat. Then because I'm not adding on a lot of eyeshadow or eyeliner, I'm going to pump up my lips. Doing this kind of balances out your look. When you don't do a lot on your eyes, you can go a little bit more bold on your lip. I use Buxom lip liners. They're also lipsticks. This is a hot pink shade. I'm not sure exactly what color it is. I've had this for a while. I love it. 
You can use it to fill your lips and line them. I also like this product by Buxom because it's not super shiny. If I wore a super shiny lip stick, it would attract the sun, which could cause my lips to burn. Yes, your lips can burn, even if you've got sunscreen on them. And the last thing that you do is spray your face with some of the Urban Decay Face Setting Spray, Makeup Setting Spray, which I use the D-Slick, which is for oil control. Shake it up. Spray it on. And that is your Beach Day Makeup Look. Now here are some products that I also like to throw in my bag when I'm on the go. I usually pack a cooler when I go to the beach and I throw in my Buxom lip liner because you never know, you might wanna touch up your lipstick. The rest of your face shouldn't need any touching up. I also like this Solar Recover product. It's called Solar Recover Save Your Skin Everyday Moisturizer. When you get out of the pool or the beach, a lot of times your skin is really dry. This is a super, super sheer moisturizer that is color it smells like lavender. You just take it out, spray it on, rub it in, and your skin stays moisturized forever. The people that make this product actually live one street over from us and are super, super nice people. So check out their website. It's zausner.com, Z-A-U-S-N-E-R.com. And it's available all over Sanibel Island and in other places as well. They also make this Save Your Hair product. It's for sun damaged and dry hair recovery system. All you have to do is shake this up and spray it into your hair uh, when it's wet or dry and it really does help dry hair. Charlene and Michael are the owners of this company and they're super nice people. Charlene is a licensed esthetician so she definitely knows what works for your skin and hair so I definitely recommend checking out these products. I'll put a link to their website in the description below the video. For everyday all over sunscreen I like the Supergroup Play. It's a lightweight moisture moisturizer that I put on every single day. It truly helps your skin not get burned. If you're going to the pool or beach and you want to smell good, I also love Sol Janeiro Brazilian Crush Cheriosa 62. It's a mist that you spray on mm, and I love, love, love to put it on. You can put it in your hair too. It makes you smell really good. It's a lightweight fragrance mist and I started using it when I first moved to Sanibel and now every time I smell it, I remember our excitement when we first drove over the causeway to come live here. It's a great product to use even if you can't make it to a pool or beach because it smells kind of coconutty and beachy and it will definitely remind you of vacation times. I recently purchased this really cool palm and fringe, fringe cover up from Amazon and this really cool out of office beach hat. Both are from Amazon and this will serve a great purpose on the beach, covering up my skin. You gotta cover up your skin, wear your sunscreen because when you start to get older, spots start to appear. My spot right here, it really wasn't an age spot, it's probably a sun spot. I didn't do the best job of protecting my skin when I was younger, and I'm a redhead, so I tend to burn very easily. So follow all of these tips and tricks for great protection from the sun, for beautiful skin, and so you can look cute on your day at the beach or the pool. I'll put links to these products in the video description below. Now it's time to go to the pool or beach. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section below. And if you haven't had a chance yet to like this video, do so now. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell at the top of your screen to always receive notifications for when I post new fun videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Visit carolinsbloomingcreations.com